Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get infinite customers in my restaurant so you can get the huge chef cat in Pet Simulator X. So as you guys know from my last video, I made that one on the alien event and on the huge chef cat and on the layout. But today I'm going to be explaining the layout and how you can get infinite customers. So to start off, let's go ahead and claim these right here first. Double profits, hyper stove and hyper stove. Okay, that's actually some decent boosts. But yeah, I'll have some boosts active now. So that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, let's get into the video. So as you guys know, I'm pretty end game at the moment as I'm on 4.7 billion cash so I can pretty much buy anything I want and level 539. Um, so I'm going to go through the layout first with you guys um, as it's pretty much the best layout out at the moment. And of course, like last video, I'll have a link to the layout in the description below. So to start off, this is what it looks like. That's the entrance to your restaurant right there. And then next to that, you would usually have coffee machines here and on this side and at the back i'm pretty sure but on this design i couldn't do that because i didn't have enough coffee sh machines i only have had one so i decided to put fountains there as well and then on this side i just didn't have anything to put down and then so this is the entrance you want to use gingerbread tables and royal chairs so you get vip customers and elf customers because elf customers um they eat faster and they order quicker i'm pretty sure so that's why you have the gingerbread table so you can get more customers and then also at the back here you want to do the no click glitch by using these things right here the silverware trays so you want to get a silverware tray and a table and basically glitch it into the tray i'll show you guys how to do it in a minute and then you also want 16 silverware trays in the corner on every single floor then the second floor this is where everything goes on where they cook all the food and then you basically want to have a bunch of stoves and then all of the cooks can go to the middle here where there's nothing and they can reach every stone stove around them then there's also the ordering thingies here and the dishwashers here as well so that's what floor two is for no serving just the cooking and i'll show you how to do the glitch quickly as well I did show you guys in last video, so you can also go check out last video if you want. So what you want to do is you want to get a silverware tray and just place it like that. Then you want to get any table and you want to spam like that onto it, but you want to click at the same time. So like it will take a few tries, but I'll try get it. There you go. As you guys can see, I just glitched it into the silverware tray like that. And now they can get cutlery and pay more for their food. So that gives you extra money and it will also. So onto the third floor. And this is the same from level three to level 10. So we've got a bit where the cooks can stand in the meat in the middle and reach every table. Then we also have a silverware tray. We have some gingerbread tables and we also have some chairs. I'm pretty sure on every floor you're meant to have coffee machines as well because if the workers use a coffee machine then they actually get a load of energy and they can go ahead and serve the food way quicker which results in more customers and then this is pretty much the same for every floor up to level 10 including the 16 silverware trays in the corner as you guys can see level 4 level 5 literally the same thing and then level 6 the same thing again all the way up to like level 9 same thing again you want to just do that up to level 10 so it's really only three designs for three different floors so it's not that hard to make and you could even probably make it if you was a starter player because you don't exactly need to use all the expensive stuff you could just use cheap stuff and it would still work i'm pretty sure so yeah that's the brand new best layout at the moment and of course if a new best layout comes out i'll go ahead and make a video on that as well but until then this is the best layout and hopefully the update is also going to be coming out very soon in like one to two days we're going to be getting the alien update if that actually comes out and we can teleport to different universes and stuff like that then that's going to be a very mad update but yeah another way you can get extra customers is by using the boosts all of these boosts right here you also get a free boost every 25,000 likes on the game and also by getting these wishing wells you can also get a ton of free boosts from these there's three different types of them and the one with the least time is 
this one it's every hour the golden one so yeah there is some tips on how to get your customers up super fast make sure you're all also getting all the top level staff you can get because that will increase your level and then you'll be able to upgrade way faster so yeah that's where i'm at at the moment i haven't played the game for like a day that's why i'm still on 79,000. but i should get it by afk in tonight so yeah when i get that pet that's going to be pretty exciting and i also want to see how much they sell for on pets max but yeah that's pretty much it for today's video that is how you guys can get infinite customers in my restaurant